morning, European traders, Privateer FX coming at you. Starting out with the old cryptos today, and then we'll move to equities. Been a fun week. Uh, hopefully the fun continues. Uh, cryptos, you know, we, we're all long. Um, getting a move up here to 7,400. We've been up to 7,900. Same deal. Uh, I got a lot of questions from a lot of different people. What am I going to do with my cryptos? Oh, what was me? Blah, blah, blah. <coughs> There's embedded volatility in this craziness, uh, and you want to take advantage of that volatility. Even though we are in a downtrend here, there is upside volatility as well. You can take this here 9,000 to 12,000, 30 percent, 10,000 to 17,000. I don't know, 70 percent. Uh, we touched 5,500 or 5,900. We'll probably get back 9.5, 10.5. Sell a portion of your longs. Get a better average. I know I sound like a broken record on this. This is the strategy we're sticking with. Your stop loss on this is zero. So better get your average as close to zero as possible. Moving on. Uh, S&P's. Holy shit. That first hour yesterday. Been a long time since I've seen 90 handles in a straight line on the opening hour up. I've seen 90 handles on the downside before. Um, flash crash comes to mind. But 90 handles up. Craziness. Uh, I just want to remind everyone that the trend is down, even though we put in this sort of big up bar. Our call here is bear market, so we're a seller of rallies. If you look a little bit closer, we have this little overhang here, which should lend resistance, 27.34. We sold some at the close last night. Uh, we're jobbing it. We just bought some back. We're going to resell 80s, 95s, 15s. Bear market people. Uh, and for the youngsters listening who have never seen a bear market, haha. -ha. No, um, that means it goes down more than it goes up. We'll see, uh, we'll see how this goes. Anyway, uh, Euro. We cleared out uh, some of these sort of what you would call stale longs through 123.35. No love there. Um, 90 was a nice break. We printed down a low of 14, which technically makes sense. We have all this consolidation over here, which is creating support. Now we're right in the middle of nowhere. Um, no trade on Euro today, for now. Cable, same type of action, cleaned out some of the weak longs. We really zipped through that uh, 40 break trade yesterday, 100 points. We haven't seen that in a while. Um, but again, we ripped right back higher. Now we are, you know, we're in the lower third of this range. I don't see any clear good risk reward setups in Sterling. Uh, if you check the dailies, kind of have a bit of a funny almost doji-esque long-legged bar there don't know what to do with that so when you don't know what to do don't do anything dollar swiss bane of our existence uh, we bought 93.93's yesterday but that was that was not really a winner the high was 98 looks like we're set for some consolidation here. Uh, there's some clear air above 94, the figure, for, for those who are brave. Uh, you won't count me as one of those brave people, but... Dollar Yen. We like this lower still. <coughs> this is going to break 108 this week. Uh, the professional money will start getting short below 108.50. But this is just a sell-on rally. Uh, there's no way we don't think there's any way we can get above 110. Uh, so, 
This is a sell-on rally. You know, if you were lucky enough to get paid at 70 last night, great. Here at 16, it's a little bit tough, but we are on the offer in dollar yen today, selling little rallies, uh, trying to get prepared for proper sized positions through 108.50 and then through this long-term trend line which comes in, this is the daily, um, this comes in at 108, so I don't know, this goes back a long way, uh, back to 2012, good old six-year trend line. Um, we think this breaks Friday, so battle stations, dollar yen. All right, I've said enough for today. Um, jobbing the cryptos, you know, maybe uh, 8,800 of your first offer in Bitcoin. Short side on dollar yen and short side on stocks.